Right back then to KwaZulu uh, Natal in uh, Newcastle, where King Mrs. Zulu Lentini has uh, just arrived uh, to pay a visit to the family of his uh, future wife, uh, Dogozo Maisela, uh, in, uh, in Newcastle. This uh, forming part of uh, the Lobola ceremony, where a, in, in Zulu culture, the families uh, do exchange uh, gifts to conclude the Lobola negotiations. Let's cross over then uh, to our reporter who is there for us uh, this afternoon, Tulani Msimang. Tulani, uh, talk us through what What's happening at uh, this time? I do believe uh, that the king at this time has indeed um, arrived uh, there. And, uh, of course, we do know that uh, he is expected to take on a wife, which is expected of uh, royal, especially a king in his uh, particular position, um, the wife being in Togoza Maisela. Um, we'll cross over to uh, Tulani in a short while. Zulu Regiment, who are also here accompanying the king. The people here are waiting for the ceremony to start.
<laughs> in then uh, to Lanim, perhaps you can explain to us uh, what's currently happening. We do see the Amaboto being asked uh, to uh, be seated. Talk to us about what's happening at this time and what we expect uh, to take place uh, th from now on, now that the king has indeed uh, arrived. And talk to us about who are seated uh, next to him. It does seem, of course, uh, to be uh, the queens, as in uh, his uh, late father's wives. Talk to us about who is surrounding uh, the king and what's currently taking place there where you are. Hello, can you repeat the question? I can't hear. All right, Tulani, what I was saying is uh, if you could explain to us what happens from this point on. Of course, the king has now arrived. We've all been waiting for the king to uh, arrive at uh, his uh, wife, Dozo uh, Maisela's home in Newcastle. He has now indeed arrived. Talk to us about who is uh, with him. It seems as though it is his uh, late, uh, uh, late father's wives that are there to uh, support him. And who will be talking? Uh, during these uh, particular negotiations as we know generally in uh, African culture it is not the groom himself who represents himself but perhaps you can educate us and tell us uh, when we are talking about royalty what indeed does then happen uh, from this point I see the Amavoto uh, being seated there as well talk to us about the process and what happens from this point please <laughs> Yes, sir. Uh, uh, King Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. has arrived uh, here. He uh, just arrived. Uh, he, he was accompanied uh, by uh, the, the princesses and the to, to, to the, the ceremony, ceremony here. He arrived by the helicopter. No, and, uh, he was received by Amaboto, who received the Zulu right to receive the Zulu queen. King, what's going to happen now is is that the gifting ceremony is officially going to start. It's going to start uh, who, who, and the families are going to greet each other the the, the family the myself family is sitting on the on the opposite side uh, uh, facing the king's family on, on, on the extreme side uh, on that side of the marquee of the venue here at the stadium so the ceremony is going to, 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 to go ahead now uh, uh, and the guests have, uh, have arrived as well to accompany king the king to to the ceremony that is going to get, get underway shortly please the driver of Vela, please will you please remove your car if you drive the Vela, please remove the Vela. all right let's talk please. about the role of the amabuto now um we know that uh, you know with uh, the late uh, king they surrounded him everywhere as we can see is the case and is the tradition is indeed uh, carrying on let's talk about in this particular uh, traditional uh, ceremony uh, what is the role then of the amabuto uh, yes, uh, this traditional ceremony is performed uh, uh, before, to cement the relations between the two families, that is uh, the, the Zulu royal family and the, the, the Maesala family, to say that, uh, to express, the, to say that if the, the, the two, the couple are now going to get married shortly. We know that uh, King Mrs. Zulu. Uh, was here in Newcastle uh, to his right to be family to come and initiate Lobola negotiations. He sent a delegation at that time to 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 send over cattle in payment in Lobola to, to his right to be. And today, again, uh, the, the delegation of Mrs. Zulu at the start of this gifting ceremony, he sent, we, we, believe, we are told that he sent an additional uh, head of cattle and not disclosed a uh, number of uh, additional cattle to the Maisela family just to thank to, to thank the family as the uncle of the Maisela uncles say that uh, it was a token to thank them for raising a, a child, to, the, the child that is now marrying the, the, the king. And Amabuto, as I said earlier on, they, they, they represent, they always go with the king wherever he is to accompany him in public, public gatherings where the king appears. He, the, the Amabuto, the regiment, are always with the king wherever he appears. And like here, the, the ceremony where they are at today, 
the, 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 the Amabuto are with the king to, to make sure, to accompany him, to, to make sure that he's safe, to make sure that he feels welcome wherever he goes, because wherever he is, he and Guazul is regarded as his land. He's always visiting his subjects. He's accompanied by, by Amabuto wherever he goes. Yeah. I'm assuming under that uh, umbrella is uh, the uh, bride-to-be. Um, I'm only guessing because I see uh, what is a very traditional uh, Zulu culture where they put uh, money on her head, on her hat, on her headgear. Um, talk to us about um, what is happening there currently. I'm not sure who that is. I'm just uh, looking at these visuals that we have. Uh, who are the people singing now, those women who are traditionally dressed? Who are they? Who are they representing and what's happening? Yes, no, what I'm going to show you now, as I tried to explain earlier on, is the delegation from the, the bride's family. They are also here facing the delegation of the king. They, they, they are represented here at the venue. The, the ceremony, they are waiting for the ceremony to start. It is the uncles, the aunts, uh, 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 and, uh, and the family members, the Maisala family, who are here to, uh, to, to this ceremony. And also members of the public are here as well. But the royal family is, is sitting um, alone on the other side of, of, of this venue, on the opposite side of this venue. And, and you can see them, they are waiting patiently. Some of them, we spoke with them earlier on, especially the uncles. They tell us that uh, nothing like this has, happen, has ever happened here in Newcastle. But especially for the family, the family itself says that it feels blessed that uh, one of their own, their daughter has been chosen to join the royal family, to, to be the king, uh, 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 the, the queen of the... the Queen of the King, the Zulu King, to, to join. They say that uh, it shows that uh, the, the child was was raised well, and is good enough to be uh, one of the, the wives of the Zulu King. All right, uh, we'll come back to the ceremony later on. Tulani um, Sibang on the ground uh, for us, King uh, Mrs. Ulukwazi Lutini, taking uh, wife uh, Dogozo Maisela. This is uh, the process leading to that, of course, as uh, the start of the uh, Lobola negotiations do indeed uh, take place. And indeed, the Lobola ceremony, as you can see, is what's uh, currently taking place. Let's take a break. More news coming up after this.